Adventures on Sodor, Episode 7, Night Tram. It was a beautiful moonlit night on the island of Sodor. Boca was heading to the yard to pick up a midnight special. Toby was at the yard. Stanley had gone home early with boiler ache, so Toby had volunteered to shunt Boca's train. As Boca arrived, Toby was about to leave. Boca approached his train when crack. After a quick inspection, it was discovered that one of Boko's wheels had broken. Your wheel won't hold the trip, said his driver. Murdoch will have to take your train tomorrow. Quietly, Toby ventured forward. Please, I'd like to try to pull the train. Do you think you can do it, asked Boko. I'll try, replied Toby. It couldn't hurt, said Boko's driver. He went to arrange everything. Soon, Boko was on a siding. Toby was hooked to the train. His wheels began to turn as the guard's whistle blew. He groaned, and the train began to move. Soon he was out of the yard and was making slow but steady progress. When he neared his destination, he approached a blind curve. Duncan was taking some trucks to the wharf. Toby came around the bend and saw the train, but it was too late. He crashed right into the empty slate truck. By the time Harvey arrived at the scene, dawn was breaking over the horizon. Sir Topham Hatt was talking to Toby. Don't worry, Toby. It wasn't your fault. The narrow gauge railway wasn't told about your late start. Unfortunately, the train you were taking was lighter than what Boko normally takes. If it had been heavier, you wouldn't have been able to pull it, and none of this would have happened. I never should have tried to pull that train, sighed Toby. You made a great effort, and as a reward, you will be sent to the works to be repaired, and to get a new coat of paint. Sir Topham Hatt smiled. Toby was looking forward to his trip to the work. Hey guys, it's Soto Storyteller PPR. Uh... I hope you enjoyed this episode of my series, and I have a couple things to talk about. First of all, you may have noticed this wasn't my Season 2 layout that I used for the first couple episodes of this season. Uh, I'm going to start trying to make a separate layout for each episode of my series. Um, th this isn't permanent or anything. I, l I love building layouts, and I hope to go back to that eventually. But just with the current... Uh, the way that my the, my filming schedule is set up, I don't even really have a schedule to be honest. I just film when I feel like it. It's too hard to just keep up a layout because if I keep up a big layout, it just takes up a lot of space. And if it's a smaller layout, it's a lot harder to film episodes. So I'm just going to try and do this for now. And also... It's been a while since I've uploaded an episode, and fortunately I have gotten some new editing software, which uh, should help me be able to put out episodes a lot faster. Uh, in case you notice, there were separate shots instead of just one continuous shot in this particular episode, and that's going to be the new norm. I'm going to be able to film a lot more complicated, a lot longer episodes this way. Uh... So I hope you're really looking forward to this. It's, this is a exciting time for my channel. My uh, The quality of my videos are probably going to get a lot better soon. And uh, I'm looking forward to filming more episodes for you guys. And I love reviews, but episodes are really what I want this channel to be all about. So uh, hopefully you guys are going to stick around. And I hope you enjoy my upcoming.